Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Raquel Annette here, thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're gonna to be doing the one dip challenge and I've seen Manny MUA do it and I also saw Nikki Tutorials do it and I just thought it was super fun. I never usually jump on top of the trendy uh, challenges or whatever but I thought that this one would be fun just to see like which one of my products would perform and what would, if I could do it, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into the one dip challenge. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Let's see how I work with one pump or one dip into products. Let's see how far we can get. So it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult because my hair is red and auburn right now. So it's gonna be like, how am I gonna make it so red, you know? So, so actually, I'm gonna do my face first because my red brows are gonna be, I don't know how I'm gonna get it to be so pigmented. So I don't wanna stress about that at the moment. Let's go ahead and try with, um, Let's start with the face. So I'm gonna dip into the Murad. This is the clarifying oil-free water <laughs> water gel. And I'm just gonna do one pump. Ah! That isn't anything. Oh my gosh. Look at how much is on there. That isn't anything. How am I going to moisturize with that? So let's just concentrate. <laughs> let's try to get the most used. I low key feel cheated. I never knew that it only pumped out that small amount. I felt like I would have gotten more, but clearly I didn't. So that's where we are. We are feeling a little dry. We're feeling a little dry. So I'm so since I didn't get as much moisture as was needed, we're gonna go ahead and take the first Sally 24 Carrot Rose Cold Mist, and I'm just going to give one spray and try to give myself some extra moisture. Ah, that was not enough. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna move into primer. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is their mattifying primer. And we're just gonna take one pump and try to make her work. We're gonna try to make her stretch, okay? Ah! Uh, <laughs> it's not enough. So this small amount, I'm just going to apply it where she needs to be. So now we are just going to take one small dip into the translucent powder and set those areas because I know that that will help to create a barrier. I usually dip into this like two or three times so we're just going to have to make it work with whatever's on. <laughs> mate, so I don't, not quite sure how I'm going to get this out. I think I just might do one squeeze for this, like one squeeze or how much I, I apply for this, but I'm gonna use this Macau NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This is hella full coverage. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. So, so I'm gonna try to get all the product on this damn brush. Oh my God, okay, so I'm not gonna use this brush. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use this Luxie. This is an angled brush because I think I'll be able to pick up everything with just one pickup. Boom. So now I'm gonna apply this to my face and really try to work it in quickly. I definitely need more to cover this forehead. I got a whole lot of face. I got a whole lot of face with this quarantine work weight gain. <laughs> so I'll try to work it down. But like, I think it's enough. Like I definitely could go back with a little bit more. Like I could have had a little half an extra squeeze, but for the most part, we are covered, which I was nervous about. Cause you know, guys know I have the dark marks and it looks way worse on camera than it does in person. I don't know. I think it's like some, the lighting or something just makes my dark marks look horrendous. All right, so now for concealer, we're gonna reach into this makeup forever. This is the matte velvet skin. And I'm gonna try to pull this out as much as I possibly can. Cause this is a jumbo applicator so I just have to use whatever is on here and I'm going to be picking that up with my Fenty Beauty concealer brush so uh very sparingly work this in not dipping back in
shout out to that jumbo applicator for allowing me to have more <laughs> product to pick up from because concealer definitely you definitely need concealer it's a light concealer finish not what I usually go for but I'm gonna try to use as much as I can off of this one and then with what is ever is left I'm gonna go back in and just build up the coverage so this definitely was enough for one dip which I'm really excited about I did mention this in my Sephora VIB Rouge Cell guide on something that you should get and just seeing that you only need to dip into this one time to have the full coverage concealed look is awesome and probably definitely worth your money because I'm, I'm looking like a normal, I'm looking really filteresque, you know, and this is just one dip into that. This was more than enough. Like, I still could go back and, and build this product up more. I'm really excited about that, you guys. Seriously, definitely worth your money because it's going to last a long time. You only need one dip to get the coverage you need for every makeup application. See, and I'm still pulling more product out of it. That says a lot. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do my brows, and this palette that I use for my brows, it's a Zuri palette, and it's by this company named Zanzi, black-owned company. And I've been using this shade Berry, Berry Boo? Berry Bay or Berry Boo, I don't know. I've been using it so much that the name wore off. And I don't really know how this is gonna work. I just don't, I just feel like it's gonna be a half of a brow and I'm still, <laughs> I'm still gonna try it. I just really don't know how this is going to span out seeing that I need a, an intense red. Like, how am I gonna do this? So I'm just going to dip as much dip as a girl can dip into this and try dip 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 like I'm gonna try to get as much as possible uh so that's how much we have and now we are going to try so I'm gonna take a little bit and like press so it doesn't fall out because I need as much color oh no it's falling out Okay, so we're gonna go to the other one and try to just put it through so maybe it'll stick and I can draw the whole brow, I don't know. And then just brush up, okay. Okay, so we got some color payoff. Hopefully enough stuck over here. Oh no, it's going off track. Cause I'm trying to like save it and I feel like I put too much product. So I'm really impressed. That was a lot and I do have some fallout, but like I rather have fallout from picking up too much product than no fallout and having a half done brow. Now with one dip into the MAC NC45 Studio Finish Concealer, we're gonna get enough in there to, do to clean up two brows. So I got a really, really straight edge so I could pick up a bunch of product and hopefully have some left over for both eyes. So I'm gonna do half and half. So that was actually more than enough. I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the top. So it looks really good, blended out perfect. I don't know if I was, since it's a different step, I think that I can dip back into um, another product for the base. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that same Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Finish down. So that's just one dip into that. Let me go ahead and apply extra since I can't go back into more. We'd rather have extra than not enough. All right, and then blending that out with that same Concealer brush by Fenty Beauty. We are applying the base for the eyeshadow. And today look is just going to be super, super basic. I have to take my son somewhere for his birthday. It is his birthday. I'm officially, my baby is officially eight years old. I don't know where time goes. I mean, I wish someone would tell me. It's like I just had him the other day. But apparently life happens and, oh my gosh, so this red, I'm just gonna like re-blend out because there was a lot of red fallout from the eyebrow and like when I tried to dust it away, it was super red. So I'm re-blending out under, I didn't even set underneath my eye, oh my gosh, this is stressing me out. <laughs> so we blend in that out. 
Um, and for the first shade, I'm using this Ulta Beauty. This is their blending shadow brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into Magma. Get a lot up, since I can only dip into the bag girl one time. And then I so wanna dust this off. I so almost like, boop, and I need all the product that I can get. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly start pressing it in. And then blend it out. This isn't as dark as I remember. Why does it look so dark right now? So now I'm gonna dip into the shade Suntan one time. And then I'm gonna start blending Magma out. Cause this is really intense. I think I went a little crazy with magma, like it's so deep. I, I put so much on there, I didn't know it was gonna be that deep. So now it's super intense. Take this Beauty Bakery, this is the sweet baking spray, and I'm gonna press down once to get this wet. Oh my gosh, pressure, hold on. So that's one press. That was actually a lot, it's like soaking wet. Oh my gosh, I thought it was just gonna be like one spray, but it was a continuous spray. <laughs> So the brush is actually completely saturated. But now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade um, Silk. I just want a super dramatic gold eye actually today. So we are going to keep her in there. We're just gonna work her around and pick up as much as we can. All right, let's apply her. She's so pigmented with that um, by applying that spray. And it's still not enough. It's crazy. Damn, it's still not enough. Do you see it's skipping and patchy? Wow. I so thought that was gonna be enough. I so, so thought that that was gonna be enough. Wow, so there, this one's like, this one's pigmented and this one's not. Sad. I watched a video and I'm just going to go ahead and pick up another shade, the Platinum and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other one and just put that directly over. See if I can intensify the color some since it's so weak. Taking that same magma brush with whatever is left, I'm going to try to blend it out on the outside to blend these two together. All right, so I waited to do my powder because I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty, this is a cashew. And then I shook some out so there's a bunch on the top, right? So there's a bunch. And then I'm gonna take this Toxy Beauty Blendiful and I'm just literally going to dip the whole thing head first. So head first, just moving her around, just moving her around. All right, so that's what we got. Let's see how she sets. Oh my gosh, let me re-blend underneath my eye. So this Tati Beauty Blendable is awesome. It's shaped like a heart, but like, Dipping into it, it definitely picks up enough product to set at least under your under eyes and like your concealed areas because I'm all set. Like it, it picked up enough and it has the two little circle uh, parts for the, the on the heart part uh, to where like you can do one eye per uh, little heart place or whatever. Still powder. I'm really impressed. I was really nervous that I wasn't going to have enough powder to set my concealed areas because I use a lot of powder. Um, and this was enough, so this tool really, really came in handy, y'all. I don't think that I could have did it with um, a, beauty, a beauty sponge. I just brush away. I don't want to speak too soon or anything, but I'm looking decent. Okay, it's just like 
the eyeshadows I definitely need to dip into more so with whatever is left on that same ultra brush I'm gonna go underneath my eye but I just thought about it like I'm not I, I can't it's gonna be so hard just to go dip into my contour one time I need an intense contour so I'm just gonna dip into this a little bit and try to contour and try to contour my nose up and I'm just going back and forth So there we go for the nose. Now it's just one dip into the tan tour. I really love this tan tour stuff. It creates the perfect shadow, honestly. So now dipping into my actual powder contour, I'm gonna be using this True Complexion by Black Radiance. And I'm just dipping into this for the nose contour. It's almost gone, so it's, you know, I just need a little bit. Picking up this brush, I'm gonna just swirl and swirl and swirl into my contour I'm just gonna keep swirling and swirling and swirling and swirling so how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put it right there first and I'm gonna do the other one because I need to have enough for both try to work quickly this ain't enough no this isn't enough so I'm actually going to pick up a bronzer. This is the Morphe. This is the Leader bronzer. And I'm just going to swirl my brush around in there and get some more. That You see the warmth that is being added right there? Like, much needed, first of all. All right, so I'm going to... Oh! <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up this Sweet Riot um, by NYX. And I'm going to be picking up my blush brush by Luxie. This is the tapered highlight, whatever, highlight, whatever. Um, and I'm just gonna swirl that in and yeah one dip is enough for that blush you can definitely see the pretty hue of color that I'm going for I love it so that is enough all right and so for highlighter I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this master chrome by Maybelline we're going to dig in one time I've never actually tried to dig into a highlighter just once I always go back because it's it's I like to I like to build up the highlight bad girl all around this bad gal we're gonna swirl her back and forth until the entire brush is saturated. Woo, that's a lot of highlight. This should be enough. I mean, how much does highlight does a V need? Makes you glow in the dark. That's more than enough highlight for one dip. <laughs> this Lash Freak by Urban Decay Cosmetics is super, super, super wet, super deep, super black. So I'm just gonna take this out. This is just gonna be the one time thing. And I'm gonna apply this because I know that it's going to probably cover everything. And it has this is a great tool because there's a bunch of different ways to use this, right? And so it just gives enough product with one dip. Anyways, I went ahead and curled my hair and I thought that I put my freaking thought that I pressed start and then like you can get a false start with camera canon sometimes. So unfortunately I didn't show you guys applying my lashes, but I did just use one dip out of out of this eye lore the one that comes with the lashes because you can just pick up so much in it and it's like everywhere and you could just put it along the lash and it actually worked and um they're staying so far <laughs> so now i think it would be unto the very last thing right so for my lips i think i'm just gonna do a deep lip because i know that if i pick this up it's just going to cover my entire lip so this is one dip into the underdog by fancy beauty And for the very, very last thing, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that Beauty Bakery. You guys, this is a continuous spray, so I don't know if that's cheating or whatever, but it's going to work for what I need to work with. I'm just going to press down once and set my face. Boom! There we have it, you guys. So pretty much all the products that I showed you are going to perform with just one dip into the product, which also... I feel like can you know make up for the price of some of these things very pigmented the only thing I would say is the shimmer shadow on the Natasha Denona and I didn't use um, a liner because I know that um, it's the thing on the Natasha Denona but pretty far I think that I did a pretty good job I really did only dip into these things one time so let me know what you guys think about the look if I did a good job or not and yeah if you want to see me do some more like trendy challenges or anything I am more than 
if you guys want to see me do any type of like trendy challenges or anything because I never really bring that aspect to my channel go ahead and leave me a comment down below I'll be sure to do that to stay on top of the trend and to bring that into the channel but thank you guys for watching this video I'll see you very soon in my next video thank you for watching bye guys